Hi, I'm Tyson, and welcome to the Adventure Rig Front Porch. Today, I am in max relaxation mode with the Timber Ridge XL Zero Gravity Chair. You're like, why do they call it a zero gravity chair? Let me show you. This is why. Check this out. I've never had a zero gravity chair, and this is amazing. This rivals any furniture that we have in our house, and I'd love to figure out how we can tie this piece in with our couch and a couple other single chairs that we have in the living room. A lot of great things to talk about with this chair. First of all, look at this side table. It fits a regular mug right into the holder, as well as having this slot right here to hold a cell phone so that you can clearly see if you're getting text, keeping up with everyone, and all the awesome activities that they're doing. Now, if you don't like the side table, another great feature about it is that it easily collapses and stores right underneath this chair. It's all incognito stealth mode, but what, you need your table? Bam, slide it out, lock it into place, and you're ready for hours of enjoyment. Now, what makes this chair so incredibly comfortable? I don't really know, but I have an inkling. I think a lot of it has to do with how this canvas material is actually attached to the frame of the chair. From the bottom all the way to the top, you actually have this nice bungee cord system so that when you sit in this chair, it absorbs all of your body weight. So if you're a little bit heavier in the seat compared to your legs, it just evenly distributes all that weight. It's amazing. Now, when you go into the full recline position, your head is at about the same level as your feet, which is kind of the point of the zero gravity chair. Also, what's great about this, if you don't wanna go into full relaxation mode, maybe you're just kind of feeling half of it. You can actually lock this into place so that it doesn't move down or move back. So any position that you want, you can lock it right into that and it'll stay. The frame of this chair is all aluminum, which helps to cut down on the weight. Now, one thing that I did notice is that, one, it's easy to fold up. As simple as that, and you can see how nice and tight it gets. However, it's still somewhat of a heavy chair. It comes in at about 20 pounds. So if you're gonna be lugging this thing down to the beach, across parking lots, that kind of stuff, you may not want to carry it. However, Timber Ridge also has this really cool collapsing wagon, which we also reviewed, so be sure to check it out. This chair fits in that wagon. You can wheel it anywhere you want to. If you're thinking, well, I kind of want something that's a little bit more lightweight, don't worry, Timber Ridge has you covered. Look at this chair, it's the director's lounge chair. We've actually reviewed that one also. It collapses up a little bit smaller, as well as being a little bit lighter. If you're looking for the ultimate comfort though, the zero gravity is the way to go. A couple things that I'd like to touch on would be this canvas here. It is a little bit water resistant, but I found if you dump water on it, it does tend to soak it up. So if it's gonna be raining, you may wanna put this chair inside because it does have padding throughout the entire canvas area and that padding will soak up water, and that's gonna take a little bit to dry. So I wouldn't wanna leave it out in the rain. This headrest right here is fully adjustable. It almost works as a lumbar support if you want it. Actually is attached to the chair and moves up and down the entire back side of it. The support feet on the bottom, it's a solid bar all the way across. So if you're gonna be putting this on uneven terrain, it does help the chair to gain a little bit of stability. However, with this chair, I would try to put it on as flat a ground as you can find. I found that out here where we're camping, if we have some lumps in the ground, the chair can be a little bit scary to use just because you're going all the way back in this thing and when it wants to tip just a little bit, it's just a little bit sketchy. Also, I am six feet tall and when I sit in this chair, I can have my feet on the bar at the bottom and fully push back and recline with it and I'm really comfortable right here. I can also get my heels out if I'm fully extended and my heels just fit onto that bar. We have had a friend who's 6'4 sit in this chair. His feet hang over that bar just a little bit more, but he said that the chair was still extremely comfortable for him. So if you're looking at the chair and you are a little bit more lanky than myself, I think it'll still work really well up to that 6'4, 6'5 range. Again, this is made by Timber Ridge. It's the XL Zero Gravity Lounger. If you guys are looking for that chair that you can take to the beach, 
Maybe you can put it in your living room and you're just looking for ultimate comfort, I would definitely check it out. Below, you can find the link to buying it right on Amazon. Thanks again for watching. If you guys have any questions about this chair, the wagon, this chair, just leave them in the comments section below and we'll get back to you. Also, if you're wondering where we are, like where's this awesome camp spot or what we're doing, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Adventure Rig. Thanks again for watching guys. I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig.